So as I was saying, um, yeah, so that you can create a new foundation, that one that is more stable. So the focus here will be on shifting things around to create more stability, going back to that eight there. Sorry, the video got interrupted. But all of this is creating space so you can step into your life purpose. Now, this could be a little bit uncomfortable at first, but stepping into your life purpose is moving away from your comfort zone, more likely than not, okay? And so, but at the same time, this will be very rewarding. And this um, life purpose, you could, you could become aware of this all of a sudden, what your life purpose is, or you could come into this information and know exactly what it is that you need to do. Maybe you've already always knew this intuitively and this is going to really lead you on the path toward more stability um, and it will definitely be very fulfilling even though at the beginning it can be a little bit uncomfortable once you do step into your life purpose things will just flow a lot better just give me a second <coughs> sorry I needed to sneeze wow it's getting really cold here Saturn wisdom so you're wise and you're accessing your wisdom. So whatever shifts are occurring for you, know that they will be well-grounded uh, and very practical. It's not woo-woo, you're not crazy. Um, just allow it to be what it needs to be. Your intuition knows best, so follow your intuition because you already are very grounded and now you're just cultivating your spiritual side and that will just make your whole experience just all the more richer. And we have the eighth house. So yeah, there's definitely a deep dive when it comes to your spiritual life here, okay? I do see that. A deep dive when you're with your spiritual life here and uh, a deep dive into your soul, really. Um, there could be a kundalini awakening happening here. Uh, something about your intimacy, your intimate relationships, your closest relationships, uh, there could be a shakeup there. And I do know, wait a second, Taurus, 8th house from Taurus, because Taurus is the only sign I'm seeing there. So it, would Sagittarius be the 8th house from Taurus? Let me see, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra. Uh, yeah, so... Sagittarius is the eighth house from Taurus. So if you are a Taurus sun, Taurus moon, Taurus something, or a Taurus north node, south node, or what have you, um, maybe the um, maybe you want to go watch the full moon and Taurus eclipse because that's also going to be affecting the next 18 months. And if you have Taurus in your chart, it's definitely going to be affecting you as well very strongly. Um, but there could be a shakeup here in a very close relationship that you have, whom you're intimate with, but maybe the foundation isn't as solid as you thought it was, and there could be a shakeup there, okay? Especially if you haven't been feeling fulfilled within that connection, within that intimate connection. Um, um, yeah, but I'm also seeing a secret, a mystery, a secret could be revealed to you that changes things up for you, but it also at the same time sets you on the course that you're meant to be on. And it's going to empower you. Whatever shakes up, it's going to be to empower you. It's going to strengthen you. You're going to feel stronger. Um, and cancer again showing up there. So you could have cancer in your chart as well, definitely. Um, so a lot of you... Um, you're going to be very nurturing. Uh, okay, so you could be, uh, some of you could be getting pregnant very suddenly and unexpectedly. If that's something you don't want, be careful, okay? And we have Capricorn. So we have the Cancer Capricorn axis. You could have the South Node, North, North Node Cancer Capricorn or just other placements where you have this axis in your chart. Um And you could have like a strong Pisces, or Taurus connection there, maybe even Scorpio or uh, um, Aquarius, I'm also seeing. But anyway, that's the mother and the father. We have Saturn and the moon, mother and father energy, very strongly mother and father energy here. And a shakeup in the family dynamic, 
So there could be a child coming into the dynamic or if there's a family dynamic, there could be changes here. Okay. Um, but everything will flow nicely. There is something about your life purpose, the whatever changes or shifts in this dynamic is to set you on the course to empower you and is going to it's going to be destined something here that's destined some of you could be getting married with Saturn there um, and being proposed to all of a sudden and whatever shifts take place in your home dynamic it's to create a better flow some of you are definitely shifting things like uh, feng shui paying attention to that so things can can um, flow better we have square opposition uranus so yeah there definitely could be some tension within an intimate connection and uh, some struggles and things to work out um things to balance out keep it that way break up or keep it that way and work on things could be maybe a reconciliation here or a breakup altogether is still not very clear, but there's going to be shakeups here within an intimate connection. But it's all to make way to empower you and set you on your true course. So if you are with your divine masculine or feminine or higher level soulmate that you're meant to be with, then you're going to work things out, reconcile, because you both have a shared life purpose and destiny. If you're not with the person you're meant to be with, things will shake up and you will get out of that connection so you can be on your life purpose because it's keeping you from your life if, if this is making any sense and we have the sun here so whatever's shaking up for you it's going to bring you a lot of happiness and you may be even changing your wardrobe the way your mission statement in the world the way you express yourself how how you want to come across what you want to look like you could be making changes um getting a new dress or new dresses um how you approach situations could be changing, how you want to make an impact on the world. You could be cleaning and cleansing your auric field and adjusting your auric field. There's definitely a change in your attitude here. And there's something about yourself externally that you're working on changing here. Okay. And so uh, what else do we have? We're going to answer some questions. What new beginning is kickstarting for you so let's see what new beginning is kickstarting for you and we have the four of wands so maybe a new home a new family or a new family situation new family dynamic new decoration a new house new friends new close friends i'm also seeing that a new connection to your soul family but with the four there and the four four of wands twin flame dynamic you're definitely, if you're not with your twin flame, I do see you coming into union with your twin flame and having a shared life purpose or your life purposes meet and you you each bring something different to the table, some different skills, some different talent to the table. Um, yeah. And you're like mirrors to each other and you push each other to become better. So... What was the answer with the question? So what is kickstarting for you? I would say a twin flame union or a new house or a new family or. But there's this feeling of bliss and happiness around this, whatever new thing is starting for you, what sudden and abrupt changes are to be expected for you. So, yeah, again, in the home situation, in the home environment, maybe there's something here that uh, you're letting go of or you're not accepting because you know that it doesn't make you happy. So you're going to be very clear about what it is that you don't want. And because of that, you're welcoming in what it is that you do want. And you're creating a barrier to all the things that you don't want. And the things that you don't want will naturally fall away from your life. What unexpected opportunities will show up for you within the course of the next 18 months? Okay, so you will be able to save more money. And... The, there will be an unexpected opportunity to hold on to a house if you don't want to let go of it. Okay, just seeing that very clearly and to save money, to save more money. Okay, what changes will occur within you? So psychologically, what's going on within you? Okay, so 
Um, five of wands. I'm seeing restlessness. You're becoming more restless, but at the same time, you're being able to identify challenges. Identify challenges, and you're also going to become very aware of jealousy. Whether this is someone else being jealous of you or your own je jealous feelings that you're transmuting. You're, being, you're also becoming aware of what is challenging, how you're challenging, or how you're becoming, or how you have been an obstacle in your own way. You're becoming aware of this as you contemplate. What changes will occur within you? We've answered that. Now, what will you realize you need more of? Stability and being more practical. Being more practical. Taking more practical steps. Taking care of those that bureaucracy, paperwork, all that boring stuff, you are, you know, you need to, you need to be more practical in general. You need more of that and you need more stability in your life. You need something you can count on. You are becoming aware that you really do truly, truly need stability. And now what will you be manifesting? Um, hard work, but also, um, good reward for your hard work but you're also manifesting someone who is dedicated to you or people being more dedicated to you people also putting in the work you're manifesting people or you're manifesting whatever work you put in to a relationship or or, or a, a job or a career or um, a business you are getting back the same the other person is also equally invested. Um, or you will find someone to invest some, you know, half-half with you. You're manifesting that. Or you're manifesting, um, you know, um, you your hard work is paying off. Your dedication is paying off. That's what you're manifesting. More money, more money. More money, more stability. With the Eight of Pentacles there, you're definitely manifesting financial stability is what I'm seeing here. How will you experience these shifts? Very internally, very connected to spirit. In a very calm and divinely guided way. Meditative. You could have Virgo in your chart. Beautiful energy. Very calmly. Very uh, very to yourself. You're, you're not doing this outwardly at all. So what else are we having here? We have a fork in the road. Definitely, I do see that for some of you. There's a decision being made here. Ultimately, you will be making the right decision. It will be leading to your happiness. We have the number 13 here. That is the death energy, death and rebirth. That is the energy of a whole new life, a whole new you, uh, but also one that is more blissful, happier, happier times ahead, okay? And definitely a new beginning coming your way you are definitely headed toward a new beginning but it starts with a big decision that you need to make that will change your life in a very big way or will change the dynamic in a way that will change things for the better whatever change is occurring here whatever it's for the better and it's going to make you feel very happy okay i love i love this but anyway let's move on to the last card we have here it's from the beyond lemuria guide um, and we have soul star chakra. The number 10 could be relevant to you. And we have merging with the divine. Absolutely. I see from all three piles, I'm seeing you guys could be the most connected to spirit is what I'm seeing here. So that's where the big shifts are going to occur is in your connection with spirit because you are understanding that you co-create with spirit. And so you're I'm seeing transcendence here. I'm seeing you letting go, no problem. It's all making perfect sense to you intuitively, spiritually, and eventually also intellectually and mentally. You're just going to be filled with divine light is what I see here. All your chakras activated, your crown chakra super activated. I did see that here, especially with this aura light here. You're going to be channeling. Um, you're going to be accessing karmic records, Akashic records left and right. Uh, where did I see that? 
Pile number two also got something like that. So you might want to watch pile number two. And you're really creating a bridge between the spiritual and the physical realm here. You are definitely ascending. So pile number one, I saw awakenings. For you, I see ascension. Heavy ascension. Big, big, big time. And you're definitely merging. It's like the merging of time beyond space and, and, um, and everything that is space and time. Um, you're going to see how everything is interconnected. Um, and this synergy will create more expansion in your life as well. So, beautiful. Beautifully, beautiful way to finish this. Pile number three. Let me know how that resonates for you in the comments section. Um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. If this did not resonate with you, choose another pile. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell. Share the video if you feel someone would need this information. And save the video if you want to watch it again later. Bless you all. Bye. It was a pleasure. See you next time.